What was the purpose of the Inca's strange strings? Point, counterpoint. String theory. Was the quipu an ancient mathematical calculator? Most of us do not do math problems without an electronic calculator. It would be even tougher without paper and pencil. Now imagine adding numbers with a device that looks like a mop. The quipu, pronounced quipu, was an invention of the Incas, an ancient civilization in South America. Most quipus were not preserved, but about 600 of them still remain intact. Quipus are made of cotton and wool strings, sometimes hundreds of them attached to a thicker horizontal cord. Both the archaeologist and the historian have tried to figure out how the quipu works. Here is their solution. Knots were tied to the dangling strings to represent numbers. The quipus were likely used by Inca officials to record and keep track of data, including statistics on anything from the number of crops produced by a village to the number of people living in a house. The quipu is an object that has baffled archaeologists for many years. Here is how a quipu would work. Each group of knots on a string represents a power of 10. Depending on their position, knots can stand for ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. Clusters of knots increase in value the higher they are on the string. As a result, Incas with special training could add up the knots on a string to get the sum. They could also add up the total of many strings or even many quipus. The patterns of knots show repeating numbers. When you add it all up, it seems clear that the quipu was nothing less than an amazing low-tech calculator. Counterpoint point. Spinning a yarn. The Incas had a 3D language written in thread. Mystery surrounds the Inca civilization. In its peak era, the middle of the 1400s, the Incas built thousands of miles of roads over mountains, and yet they had no knowledge of the wheel. They made houses of stone blocks that fit together perfectly without mortar, a bonding material. The biggest mystery may be how the Incas kept their empire together without a written language. The solution to the last mystery might be an odd-looking object called a quipu. Only a few hundred of these remnants of the Inca culture still exist. Follow the illustration to understand how to count with a quipu. One, three, two, four, one, seven, zero, zero, three, five, five, two. One hundred thirty-two plus four hundred seventeen plus three equals five hundred fifty-two. Top knots equal one hundreds. Middle knots equal tens. Bottom knots equal ones. Researchers discuss a quipu. Quipus are made of wool strings that hang from a thick cord. On the strings are groups of knots. Many researchers believe the knots stand for numbers, even though no evidence supports this but others make a strong case that the knots of the quipu were really language symbols, or a form of language. Researchers found an identical three-knot pattern in the strings of seven different quipus. They think the order of the knots is code for the name of an Incan city. They hope to reconstruct the quipu code based on this and other repeating patterns of knots. More conclusive proof that the quipu is a language comes from an old manuscript, a series of handwritten pages from the 17th century. It was found in a box holding fragments of a quipu. The author of the manuscript says the quipus were woven symbols. The manuscript even matches up the symbols to a list of words. The Inca Empire covered nearly 3,000 miles. Perhaps the strings of the quipu helped hold it together. Barber pole? Color splice. Some experts now believe that the quipu's knots, colors, and patterns made it more than just a counting device. Decoding the quipu may reveal historical records.